Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to Planet Nailing here on YouTube. Yes, as you can tell, this is going to be my Riverdale 219 rant view, rant slash review slash all things Riverdale. Oh my god, I love the Black Hood storyline. Ah! Okay, first let me say this. If you have been watching my videos, then you probably know that my top two choices for the Black Hood are Sheriff Keller and Hal Cooper. Now, I lean towards Sheriff Keller more. However, after this episode, I'm not so sure anymore. This episode showed me that maybe Sheriff Keller isn't the Black Hood. You know, maybe he still is, and maybe this episode is just to kind of throw you off. Or maybe everything that points to Sheriff Keller being the Black Hood is just a coincidence that the writers are doing to make it look like he's the Black Hood, but really it's Hal Cooper. Because, now, I was watching this episode, and when Betty was handing over Chick to the Black Hood, I, I got a little feeling like it was Hal. Because when I looked at his eyes... I, I paused it and I was like, his eyes are super green and Hal's aren't, but you can, like, it looks like him behind the mask and it is like his build. And I was just like, man, that seems like Hal Cooper. Like, I think that's Hal Cooper. And then I was thinking, but, but he seemed so surprised about the murder that took place in the Cooper house between Alice and Chick and stuff. And so I was like, well, he just... I mean, but he could be a great actor. I mean, hell, he could be acting great. Like, I mean, dude, he's the Black Hood, and yet no one knows. Like, come on. No, but, uh, yeah, I just felt like it was him when he was getting chick. Like, I felt like it. Like, I kept pausing it every time we got to see just the eye, even, because I just wanted to look. And I really started thinking, what if this is Hal Cooper? What if it's not Sheriff Keller? What if this is Hal Cooper? I mean, yeah, he acted like he knew nothing about this murder in the Cooper house, but he could be lying. I mean, if he is, in fact, the Black Hood, he's been lying this whole time. No one suspected him. However, what really pushed me towards Hal being the Black Hood is when Betty came back and was like, where's Dad? And then she said he went out looking for you. Wow, isn't that a coincidence? When she was giving Chick to the Black Hood... Hal was just mysteriously gone looking for Betty. Nah, 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 nah. I think even Betty, a little switch, a little bulb went off in her head or whatever you want to call it, a little switch went off in her head where she's like, holy shit, maybe my dad's the black hood. Like, I feel like that's what she kind of was thinking because her face was like, kind of like, oh shit. Or maybe, yeah, I mean, no, there's no way that Hal pretended to be the black hood just so he could kill Chick. Because I honestly think now he is the Black Hood. You know what? It's funny. I say this, and then when I find out who the Black Hood is, it's Sheriff Keller, and it's like, ah, I should have stuck with my first instinct. But honestly, no. I do still think Sheriff Keller could be a contender. However, Hal Cooper really topped my list this episode. There was just it nothing really that he did, but when I saw the Black Hood coming to get Chick, and I kept pausing it to see the face, you know, but you can only see the eyes, I kept thinking that's Hal Cooper. It looks like Hal. And it does look like this person is wearing contacts to make their eyes look greener. But it looks like Hal, and he does have the same build as Hal. And I was like, man, that looks like Hal. Like, it really does. But then I was thinking, well, he's with Alice at the house, and I'm sure they don't even know that Betty left with Chick. You know, they were fighting upstairs for all they know. She went upstairs. But apparently not. Um, apparently they realized that she was gone. And of all people, Hal decided to go looking for her. Um, I mean, he is her dad. He probably, you know, he wanted to make sure she was okay. But it is odd that he's not there at the same time that the Black Hood is after Chick. Like, I was already thinking, man, how Cooper's really looking like the Black Hood. Like, man, he looked like the Black Hood. When I paused it, when Chick looked at the Black Hood and the Black Hood looked at Chick and I paused it on the Black Hood's eyes, I swear I thought Hal Cooper right away. Hal Cooper. I thought it right away. And then later on when Betty's like, where's dad? And it's like, oh, he went out looking for you. And then she's kind of like, what? That's, a, he, what? Like, she thinks, oh my God, what if he is the Black Hood? Which is so true. I mean, he very well could be the Black Hood. Like, that just solidified my thought already, like, that he is the Black Hood. Like, man, I'm getting closer and closer to uh, Hal being the Black Hood. Don't get me wrong. I was, like, with Sheriff Keller thinking he is the Black Hood, and he still very well could be. But this episode kind of put that a little lower on my list and put Hal a little higher on my list because he's really looking to be suspicious. And also, the Black Hood is going to be revealed to Betty and I believe episode 21, yes, episode 21, 
right before the season finale in episode 22. So episode 21, the Black Hood's going to reveal himself to Betty. And what better person to be the Black Hood than Hal Cooper? And what better person to reveal himself to than his own daughter? And what better person to know about her darkness? Because if you think about it, Sheriff Keller wouldn't really know too much about her darkness. Like, I mean... I don't know, it's just, it's not a thing she broadcasts, like, I don't even think really Kevin knows that much about it, like, yeah, he knows that she does some BDSM and shit, crazy shit, like he said about in the woods, so, like, I don't know, Sheriff Keller, that was one thing, Sheriff Keller, I didn't know how he would really know about the darkness in her, like, I know that her and Kevin grew up, so that was kind of my thought, you know, he could have seen it when her and Kevin were growing up, or he just figures her family's crazy, so he knows there's some darkness in her, or perhaps Kevin said something about her and what she's been doing lately. You know, it could be a m multiple things that he could know about, but this Black Hood does have this weird connection slash obsession with Betty, and it, he makes it known that they are alike in a lot of ways, and that could be because he's her dad, and it's Hal Cooper, and of course, who else to be obsessed with Betty Cooper than her own dad who knows that they are alike because apparently this craziness comes from the Blossom side of the family because cuckoo no I'm just joking but yeah so Hal Cooper is my number one suspect now of the Black Hood like this yeah number one suspect now Sue what got me though is he we seen him say hello to Alice and stuff before the play but and then he sat back down so we thought okay he's in the audience you know everything is good but what if, I mean, we don't know where he was after that. We didn't see him when Jughead was filming. We saw Chick sitting there very creepily, 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 creepy. I'm sorry, creepily. That's a word somewhat, you know, creepy. But uh, he was sitting there all creepy. But I didn't think he had anything to do with the Black Hood. But please watch. Let's actually see when the Black Hood is revealed that Chick is actually still alive. No, no, Chick's probably dead. We didn't see Chick die. So can we really say he's dead? I don't believe it until I see it. Okay, because he could be dead, but really he could be working with the Black Hood, which I don't think he is. I mean, uh, imposter, I knew it. Ooh. Like, I knew it. Like, I figured, like, he was an imposter and that he killed the real son. I said this in a few, vi a few videos back where I was like, he is an imposter. He probably killed the real son and took his identity and wanted this perfect life that he missed out on. And, lo and behold, that was the truth. Um, I don't really know what his endgame was here when he came back. Also, I don't know, people said, like, in episode 20, next episode, that Betty, like, this was one of the spoilers I got, that Betty apparently apologized to this chick for everything. But clearly, that's not the case, because if, if Chick was killed by the Black Hood, as far as we know, then why... Would she be apologizing him to him in episode 20? Also, why would she apologize to him at all? I mean, he's an imposter. He killed her brother. Like, I knew it, man. I knew it. I was, man, I just, I was thinking, I, first off, we all knew that, well, we thought at the time it was Chick, the son, but he, that was disproven. But we all knew that, of course, this was Alice and FP's son, which now that he's not in the picture, it won't have, so, it won't have an impact really on Betty and Jughead, plus they don't even know about it, so it's not anything to concern themselves with, so I see why that wouldn't bring any trouble for them as a couple, sharing a brother who no longer exists, which they don't even know, because FP and Alice, of course, are not going to tell them, you know, he's dead, there's no sense in telling him now, um, but yeah, so I knew Chick was imposter, like, I figured he probably killed him, and took his identity, and I thought maybe he wanted, like, this perfect family that he never got, but may I don't really know what his end game was, was it revenge for her, Alice turning him away, but it's like, dude, you killed him, who are you one to talk, like, you killed him, like, oh, I lost control, yeah, did you lose control when you hit the guy over the head with the lamp, or did you just do it for fun, because that's clearly your thing. Which, you know what's another thing odd? Oh, that is odd. The Black Hood knows that he has killed before, meaning her real brother. But who would know that? Perhaps Hal. Maybe that's why Hal was so against him from the beginning. It wasn't because he felt like this wasn't his son. I think maybe it was because he knew what kind of person he was. And he didn't want that in his family. Because if you think about it, the Black Hood has to have knowledge of this, and who would have knowledge? I mean, no one, it, 
clearly it wasn't like reported because this, I mean, I'm sure he would be in prison. I mean, it's like, and what happened to the body? Like, it's all very interesting because whoever the Black Hood is knows what type of person Chick really is and knows that he murdered the real son, which actually would make sense if it was Hal too, because who's to say Hal didn't go looking for his son? But, I mean, then again, he's like, I always felt like it wasn't my son. God, this is a very confusing thing. Riverdale, what the fuck are you doing to me? But, yeah, it's just very odd because the Black Hood knows things that even Betty and Alice and no one else knows. So how does he know this? And I don't think it's Sheriff Keller because I, it wasn't even ever reported. I mean, I'm sure there would be a report. I'm sure Chick would be held accountable for murdering someone. I mean, like, where did the body go? Maybe Chick is working with the Black Hood. Who knows? No, I don't think he is. Honestly, I think it's Hal Cooper who's the Black Hood. Perhaps he went looking for his real son, and I don't know. Like, that's very odd. Like, ah, uh, the Black Hood has to be someone who either can get, like, there's no way to find out that he murdered the real Charles, you know, the real Cooper. So, like, how would the Black Hood know this? It has to be how, because he's been against him since the beginning, and it's like he had a feeling it wasn't his son, but there was still a chance it could be, so wouldn't you at least give that other chance that it could be your son a chance and actually try to get to know him? But clearly, he knew from the beginning that wasn't his son. Even if it is FP's son, he knew from the beginning it wasn't the son they gave up for adoption, I feel like. Like, there's a lot of things that don't make sense, but at the same time, we really don't know. You know, the Black Hood is very smart. You know, he seems to be one step ahead a lot of times. I mean, of course, Betty is always, like, one step ahead of him. But also, like... Whoever the Black Hood is, Sevenson had to have a connection because, yeah, like they even said, why would he cut off his own finger, you know, and send it to me? And he, why would he bury you alive, Archie? And clearly, I mean, what if Hal knew what really happened all those years ago with the Reaper, you know? What if, or maybe what if Hal met Sevenson when he perhaps went to uh, quiet, uh, Sisters of Quiet Mercy to look for his son. Like, I don't know. It's I just it's hard to pinpoint everything and connect them to who the Black Hood could be because the Black Hood is such a mystery. Like, we have our suspects, but when it comes down to it, a lot of things don't connect. You try to match them up, and it's like, God, I don't know how this matches up. But really, we don't know... Like, if Hal Cooper turns out to be the Black Hood, it's going to be, I'm pretty sure, a shock to a lot of people. Like, of course, the town. Because you wouldn't think Hal Cooper, of all people, would be murdering people. Especially kids, like Midge. Um, but yeah, so I think Hal Cooper is the Black Hood right now. Like, he moved to the top of my list. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like this episode, like, before even Betty said, where's dad? And she's like, oh, he went out looking for you. And then she got all, like, suspicious before even that when the black hood was going after chick did anybody else think like it looked like hal cooper like when you pause it on the eye and you really look it looks like hal cooper and the body's kind of the same like it does look like hal cooper so anyways enough the black hood talk moving on sorry um oh my god okay nick st Clair. ah uh, okay first let me say actually you know what before i get into nick st Clair, first let me say this Oh my god, if I was in Riverdale, like if this was an actual place and all this shit that was happening was actually happening and I lived in Riverdale, and let's just say I was Kevin in this scenario when he went up to, well actually let me pretend I'm Carrie, okay Carrie, oh isn't that ironic, okay it's Carrie with the K, okay, but imagine I'm Carrie instead of Kevin because you know a guy can't hit a girl, so imagine I'm Carrie and I go up to Sharon and I'm like what the hell, like you wrote this about my dad, like you're spe uh, smearing his name, Da, 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 da. and she's just like, oh, well, he's getting taken down, and she's just smiling. I love Cheryl, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I want to punch her in the fucking face. Because even though Sheriff Keller is a suspect as the Black Hood, I still, you know, would want to protect him, because if he is my dad, you know, I still want to protect him, of course. But it's like, if I was Kevin in that situation, or Carrie, because you gotta be a girl to hit a girl, um, don't be a guy and hit a girl, okay? Just telling you. But anyways, if I was in that scene, I, oh my god, if I was Kevin, even if he didn't hit her, I would go off on her. But me, in that scene, I would be like, whack! I would just knock her the fuck out. Because yes, okay, Sheriff Keller doesn't do shit, but if I was Kevin in that, and let's just say Kevin was a girl, Carrie, and that was her dad that Cheryl was talking about, you best believe 
I'm gonna punch her in the fucking face. But since it's Kevin, he can't do that. But it's like, man, that got me infuriated. Because even though Sheriff Keller really does nothing, and he really hasn't, I mean, he's made no leeway with the Black Hood. He's had, he doesn't, he really does suck at being a sheriff lately. So, with that being said, yeah, I understand, like, like, I understand, like, what Cheryl's saying and stuff. But still, I would be like, this is my fucking dad. I'm gonna deck you in the face. And bang! Like, I would not sit there. Because when she smiled at the end to Kevin, I was just like, ugh. <laughs> like, I just could imagine that being my parent and someone doing that and then smiling like, I'm taking him down. I could just imagine that and just go, ugh. I felt angry for Kevin in that scene. And I even think Sheriff Keller could be the Black Hood. And I still felt angry for Kevin in that scene because I was thinking, ah, I wish you were a girl so you could just hit her. But if you did, it's you want it because it's Riverdale and no one ever hits anyone. Like, ah, not saying I want people to get hit, but come on. Like, was anybody else a little, like, angry when Cheryl was, like, telling Kevin that she's basically going to take his dad down and then smile like it's no big deal? Like, wouldn't you just want to punch her in the face if you were a girl in that situation instead of a guy? Because, you know. So, yeah, just had to say that real quick because, ugh, like, ugh. Also, Veronica. Veronica is finally standing up to her parents. A fucking men to that, girlfriend. Amen. No. Uh, cause really, you know what also is odd to me is the Black Hood just so happens to be perfect for their campaign because we can pr protect Riverdale from the Black Hood and all this good stuff. But it's like this is what really gets me is how the fuck is the Black Hood not going after Hermione or Hiram Lodge? They are the biggest sinners of them all. How are they not getting attacked? Oh, I'm going to go after the people who escaped me. What about the people who are huge ass fucking sinners? You're, this, this is what gets me about the Black Hood is literally he's taking down sinners that aren't really even sinning. Oh, Fred, an adulterer. Yeah, uh, Hermione is an adulterer. Fred is separated from his wife. She's seeing someone else half the time. And he's free to see whoever he wants. Hi, uh, Hermione is still married to Hiram, who just happened to be in prison for this short period of time while she hooked up with Fred. And then they broke it off. And then she got back with Hiram and became this totally different person. Like, Hiram kind of ruins people. He actually does. He kind of, he brings out the bad in people in the worst way possible. But yeah, so that I was very happy about with Veronica, like saying, I'm not getting in your shit. Like she's fed up with it because really, I mean, a girl just died and you're already talking about how you can use this to your advantage. That's a little sick. Okay. Why don't you stop thinking about you, yourselves and your business and what you can do to manipulate people and start thinking about this girl who actually got killed and think about the black hood who's still out there. Okay. Like, come on. I hated that. Like, right away, they're trying to use it to their advantage, and it pisses me off because a girl just died. Who gives a shit about your fucking prison plans, dude? Like, really, who gives a shit? A girl just died. Like, I hated that, and I loved Veronica for saying, don't even include me in this shit because she's done with it. They're going too far, and they really are. This is a time where people are scared, okay, when you're using that to your advantage to, oh, don't worry, we'll help with the Black Hood situation. It's like, really? What are you doing? You haven't even been attacked, and you're a sinner bigger than all of them. You and Hiram. Like, jeez, that's what gets me. That's what gets me about the sinner shit. Like, the, the Black Hood didn't even really go after any big sinners. Yeah, Miss Grundy, but Fred, no. Moose and Midge, oh, come on. Sex and drugs, like, that's a big fucking deal. Every kid basically does it almost in Riverdale. Like, that's it. that was a huge thing. Like, I don't know. Like, it's very, like, it's very odd to me. I don't know. Because Hiram also... You know, I feel like, of course, you know, I feel like he has something to do with Fred's shooting. And I think, I don't know if he is connected to the Black Hood. But, because Archie said he, like, Archie wants to take down the Black Hood. I'm, like, oh my god. Archie's mind is so fucking warped. But, he's gonna take, he wants to take down the Black Hood and prove himself to Hiram in the process. And it's like, oh yeah, prove yourself to someone who literally could care less if you live or die. And was going to let you die. But okay. Like I understand Hiram. I understand where he's coming from. I do see it. Like you you are going to look weak. Especially this kid who isn't your son. And then who's next? Veronica. Which she was next for Nick. But heh, she got you Nick. But uh. So I do understand why he wouldn't do it. I mean it is a lot of money. I mean a million dollars for your daughter's boyfriend. But let's not forget everything he's done for you Hiram. Everything he's kept secret for you Hiram. I mean... 
come on now. You even tried to break up his relationship with his dad, which was so not cool, and he still is standing by you because he believes so much in this prison thing because of the Black Hood. If the Black Hood never happened, this prison thing probably wouldn't even be in his mind. He probably wouldn't even be the Archie we're seeing right now, but the Black Hood warped his mind, clearly. So yeah, I was, uh, very proud of Veronica for that, and then the whole Archie thing, you know, proving himself, you know, it's like, dude, take down the Black Hood because he shot your dad. Who gives a fuck if you prove yourself to Hiram, okay? Like, may, you know, that's what also makes me think. It's like they used this so quickly to their advantage, that Black Hood thing, that makes me think, what if they are in cahoots with the Black Hood? Or what if they one of them is the Black Hood? No, I don't think Hiram's the Black Hood. Hermione's not the Black Hood. I do think it's Hal Cooper. But, I mean, of course, you never know what Hiram watched. He's in shady shit. And it the Black Hood thing does seem to be working to his advantage because he can go, because his wife can go door to door and reassure everyone. And it's like, bitch, people are still dying. Like, who are you? Who are you reassuring, okay? I mean, Midge got killed in an auditorium full of people. That's what really gets me. How did no one hear her scream? No one see her. Also, M Moose, he was upset at something in episode 18, and yet he said to Sheriff Keller, I don't know what we were talking about. You know, just normal stuff, normal couple stuff. And it's like, mm, you were upset for a reason, so there has to be a reason why you were upset. There's something that you saw or heard that made you upset. With, and I kind of think it has to do with, of course, Midge and possibly Fangs, but I thought he was gay, but maybe not. But clearly it has something to do with Midge and Fangs, or at least Midge, because Midge and Fangs were in the room together, and then Kevin all of a sudden was really angry. So something happened that Kevin's not letting out. And I'm very curious as to why he won it. What exactly happened before the show that you can't say? What is it, something bad on you? Because I don't think he's the Black Hood, but who knows? No. Um, so yeah, that's just crazy. Like, the Black Hood is like, and that's another thing. No one, you know, there was Sheriff Keller behind the scenes, and then there was Chick. But Hal, no one saw him behind the scenes as far as we know. But clearly, no one saw Midge get murdered either, or no one heard her scream. Maybe someone drugged her. Maybe someone injected something into her. I don't know, because someone had to do something to keep her quiet, to literally fucking stab her with uh, scissors to a fucking, uh, board, to the fucking screen thing, like, come on, so it's just crazy how no one, you know, of course, they saw Chick, and they saw Sheriff Keller, which is another thing, Sheriff Keller, why was he back there, like, and then he was back there, and yet he still couldn't save Midge, like, you really suck at being a sheriff, that's kind of, yeah, but we know Hal was at the place, so who's to say he wasn't back there, like, god, it's just the writers try to give you so many different ways that the Black Hood is going, so you're like, oh, maybe it's this, no, just, no, and then you're like, wait, who is it? Oh, maybe, no. you know, that, they're very good at doing that, which I love, because the Black Hood storyline is my favorite by far, um, oh, sorry, moving on, because it's getting so long, but Nick St. Clair, uh, okay, when I knew he was coming back for revenge, I assumed he was coming back for revenge on Hiram, not Archie, but I guess I was wrong on that front, well, like, not Archie, but, like, I, I thought it was just going to be Hiram, you know? Like, I didn't expect him to take Archie. Like, when I saw that person, like, when Archie was walking and it looked like the Black Hood came out from the bushes, I was like, is the Black Hood really going to be that stupid? And the Black Hood looked smaller, and I was like, this doesn't really look like the Black Hood. And it's like, why would he be out in the open like that, you know? And then, but I was thinking, oh, maybe he's just messing with Archie. And then Archie goes to Sevenson's house, and... All of a sudden, the person walks by, and he's like, hey, what are you doing? And then it turns out to be Nick and his two friends, and they decide to take Archie and say, hey, give me a million dollars ransom, or your boyfriend's dead. And knowing Veronica, of course, she's going to save her boyfriend, of course. Like, come on, I would save Archie even if he wasn't my boyfriend. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't see that coming, him taking Archie and then beating him up. Like, God, I love Grand Phillips, but I hate Nick St. Clair. Like, oh my God, he is worse than I thought. Like, I was watching this episode and I was like, man, I really love Graham, but I just can't like Nick. And then him in the booth at Pops and him saying, I want to finish what we did, what we started that night in New York and at the hotel and all that when he tried to rape her. And I'm like, oh God, you're sick. You are a sick individual. Like, wow, you are so disgusting. Ew. 
Like, even if she did have sex with him, you're having sex with someone who doesn't want to have sex with you. So you're basically raping her. It's disgusting. Like, ugh. So right there, he's just not even, he has no ounce of good in him. And, oh, I want to have a limp now for the rest of my life. Boo fucking who? You shouldn't rape girls. You got what you deserve. You're lucky your dick didn't get cut off. I would have did that. If I was Cheryl or someone, I would just, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Um, but yeah, Nick St. Clair coming back. Uh, this episode went so quick, I feel like, because everything was happening so much. You know, you had the Black Hood, you had Chick, you had Nick St. Clair, you had all this thing happening at once that the episode was just fast-paced. Not in a bad way, in a good way. But by the end, I was like, oh my god, it's already over. <laughs> like, it's just so good. Like, I just, I love Riverdale. So yeah, Nick St. Clair coming back was <laughs> very interesting. And then the tables turned, which yes, honestly, I knew she was roofing him because she kept looking at his glass as he was drinking it. And I was like, oh, yep, she put something in there. She did. I knew it. But it was taking so long. And with Cheryl, it went like this. So I was like, whoa, what's taking so long, you know? Like, And then when Archie breaks in, he's on the floor. And I'm like, yes, way to go, girl. Yes, amen to Veronica. Like, I'm loving Veronica more and more. Like, I've always loved her, but I'm not going to lie and say I didn't, like, really dislike her these last few episodes. But recently, she's really proven herself to be someone other than her parents' black dog in a way. Not saying she is, but basically, you know, they're always trying to get her to do stuff for them. And it's kind of like, dude, I've already basically almost lost all my friends because of you. And now just got him back. I don't need this shit. Like, come on. And I was bullied at... Well, not really... She was bullied, but, you know, she was also, like, yeah, bullied at school. So, she's already had the shit end of that stick. So, I'm very glad that she's finally starting to, like, back herself away from the family business. Because she really needs to be away from that family business. Um, but, yeah. Uh, also, you know, Hiram saying he's not my son and stuff. I understand, like I said, I understand where he's coming from. But, at the same time, this kid's done so much for you. Like, I just have to say that again, because this kid's done so much for you, and you don't even consider it. You didn't even call Nick St. Clair's parents. You honestly just didn't care. Like, you weren't gonna get involved. He's not anybody important to you. You already used him enough as you can, so if he lives, if he dies, eh, who cares, you know? Which is a shitty thing, considering all he's done and hid for you. But okay, saved your life, but okay. Uh, saved your daughter's life, basically, but okay. Like, you know, whatevs. Um, but yeah, so Nick St. Clair coming back was, I knew he was coming back, I just didn't know it, Archie was going to be the guy he got first, you know? And it's like, it's like that scene, like, man, Archie just fucking, he was upset, like, he was like, my girlfriend Veronica, like, he just had to get out. I will say, even though I know, like, even though I've said this before, and he is still a suspect in my opinion, Sheriff Keller... I do somewhat feel bad for him. And, you know, I am, like, I don't know, Cheryl, I love Cheryl, but sometimes, like, I don't know, sometimes she can just be a little too arrogant for her own good. Like, when she does a smile, like, mm -hmm, I'm going to take everyone down. Like, when she does that smile, it just really infuriates me. Like, even though Cheryl Keller is a suspect in my mind, it's still, like, when Hermione and her are talking, and it's just like, ugh. Like, ugh. Like, I hate this. Like, Hermione, like, ugh. I, how do you go into a young girl to help you? Like, damn, you a grown adult. Like, oh my god. Like, I, even, it's like, I, I feel kind of bad for Sheriff Keller, but then again, you know, I really, I don't. But I do, you know, because of Kevin. And it's just like, I know how vindictive Cher, uh, Cheryl can be and how mean she can be. Like, she can really go at you. And so I feel kind of bad for Sheriff Keller, you know? And it's like, if Fred wins, he still has his job. But if Hermione wins, he doesn't. And I'm not saying he should have his job. I really don't know. You know, he hasn't done anything. He hasn't made leeway on anything. I mean, he has no suspect for the Black Hood whatsoever. He's a sheriff who's obsessed with the Black Hood and yet can't seem to get one suspect. That's kind of odd to me. You know, not one suspect. So, I mean, maybe he does deserve to lose his job, but just having Cheryl and Hermione team up just, like, really gets my blood boiling, especially because Hermione, you know, of course, takes this opportunity of a young girl dying to take down Sheriff Keller, which is understandable because, of course, another kid died on his watch, especially when he was backstage. It, like, that's another thing. He was backstage. You know, I don't know how Cooper looked like the Black Hood this episode, but maybe it is Sheriff Keller, but, God, man, it felt like Hal Cooper. It really did, and I don't think he's going to pretend to be the Black Hood just so he can kill Chick, because whoever 
was the Black Hood calling her? Lollipop, lollipop, lolly. That is the creepiest fucking ringtone. I love it. I tried to get it, but I can't find it. But, um, yeah, when she was talking to him and stuff, uh, what was I going to say? Hold on. Okay, that's what I was saying. Sorry. Yeah, she, when she was talking to the Black Hood, it's clear that, uh, God, I forgot. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it's, uh, how couldn't dress up as the Black Hood just for a night? Because this person was talking, Betty was talking to the Black Hood over the phone. It's his ringtone. So whoever is after Chick or got Chick is actually the Black Hood. And it very well is Hal Cooper. And like I said, it's revealed to Betty, just said to Betty, the Black Hood's revealed to Betty in episode 21, leading me to believe it's even more Hal Cooper. Because honestly, who better to see who the Black Hood it really is than Betty, but also who better to be the Black Hood and show Betty who the Black Hood is than her own father. And I'm sure she already has some suspicions as we saw at the end of the episode where she's kind of like, he's not here. You know, because it's kind of odd. It is. He's not here at the same time that the Black Hood showed up. Isn't that a little weird? And, you know, like, why would he even know that she's gone? It's very odd. But, yeah. So, that's what I wanted to say. All, oh, let me also say the FP and Alice scene was so emotional. Like, first, we finally got to hear that that is their son or was their son. So sad. <sighs> but that's okay. Um, we finally got to hear that it is, in fact, FP's son, which we all knew along, we knew all along, but it was nice to have that confirmed, and that was such an emotional moment. I give so much credit to Machen. Did I say that wrong? Machen? I, I, I said it right, right? I give so much credit to her. Like, that was such a heartbreaking scene, and she killed it. And FP was there comforting her. That was such a beautiful moment. I'm sorry. I just love them so much. And it's such a beautiful moment. And I'm just glad they confirmed that this was in fact his son as well. Since we're not going to get to meet him. At least we'll know that for sure this was their son. Um, so yes. So I just wanted to say that. Also, next episode, Fred gets a note. You're next, sinner. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hiram and her... Okay, I understand you want to go after all the people you... Tried to kill, but escaped. But, um, hello? What about the biggest sinners of them all? Uh, Sheriff Keller and Mayor McCoy having an affair. Hiram Lodge. Hermione Lodge. Like, hello? Sinner, 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 sinner. Like, where's that? You know, like, but apparently it's just going after all the people that escaped. But it's like, he could have shot Fred again if he wanted to kill him, you know? Like, he only shot him once, whereas Moose and Midge got shot a bunch of fucking times. Not Midge, because Moose was protecting her. But he shot a bunch of times at them, whereas Fred was only shot once, which is another odd thing. Like I said, I believe Hiram has something to do with Fred's shooting. I believe that he hired Tallboy, or someone, but I believe it was Tallboy, to shoot Fred. That is what I believe. And, I mean... So I don't, th so when he gets the note, you're the, you're next sinner. It's like, I feel like, why would, like, I just don't feel like the Black Hood was a part of the Fred shooting. But then again, what if he was? But still, I still think Hiram had some part in it. Come on, we all know how much Hiram hated Fred and still does. And I mean, he even hated Archie for the longest time just because he hates his dad and because he slept with his wife. So, God, I really... And we know Tallboy does work for him, so what's the big deal about shooting someone? You don't give a shit. And just the way that whole situation unfolded, it just didn't fit with the other Black Hood killings. I mean, it, I don't know. I, I just... 